The scripture this morning comes from the Gospel of John, reading from the 21st chapter. Listen then for the word of God. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. A second time, Jesus said to Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. After this, he said to him, follow me. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Now, my guess is that some of us, but not all of us, are old enough to remember a singing group called the Contours. The Contours were a group of what started out to be six African-American men. Uh, they went down to five after a while. And they had a big hit in 1962. And because it got used in a movie, it was a big hit in 1988 as well. And it's a, I think it's a funny song. So you have to do a little imagining right now uh, because there was a lead singer and then the other four or five would sort of echo. So their hit song went something like this. Do you love me? Do you, do you love, do you love me? Do you, do you love, do you love me? Do you, do you, now that I can dance. Sorry, Contours. That was their hit song. It was kind of a silly song. The whole song was based on the idea that the girl, whoever she was, had not liked this guy before. She didn't love him because he couldn't dance. And so when they went to dances, it didn't go well. Well, evidently, the singer had been working and now he could dance. And so now he, we don't know what the tone is really. Is he making fun of her? Is he inviting her? You know, how's this going? And those of us who understand love, those of us who've wrestled in marriage or those of us who have tried very hard to follow Jesus's command to love, we know that this is just a silly song because you don't love somebody, whether they can dance or not. You don't love somebody, whether they can do anything or not. You love somebody because of who they are, not whether or not they can dance. But the reality is that it's an interesting song in one way, because the young man, presumably a young man, didn't take no for an answer. And he understood that for love, even that kind of love to work, he was gonna to have to work at it. So he learned to dance. Now, whether it works out for the girl or not, we don't know by the end of the song. But he decided because love was gonna be worthwhile that he needed to work on it. He needed to do something. 
not just stand there and feel something. Now, I say all this, and uh, just let me apologize ahead of time, because I never read this section of the 21st chapter of John without hearing the contours in my head. So, you know, I'm apologizing right now, but here's more or less what I hear. Do you love me, Peter? Do you love me? Do you love me, Peter? Do you love me? Do you love me, Peter? Do you love me? Now that I'm alive. Yeah, thank you very much. I did apologize. And now I'll have to apologize again because now none of you will ever read John 21 again without hearing the contours in the back of your hot head, are you? But the exchange between Peter and Jesus has some of those same underlying ideas. Do you love me? Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Then do something. Do you love me? Yes, Lord, I love you. Then do something. Do you love me? Lord, you know everything. You know I love you. Well, then you're going to have to do something. Love of Jesus is not limited to standing somewhere and feeling good in our hearts. Love of Jesus always means reaching out to our neighbor. Now, you and I are blessed to be a part of a church that understands that. One of the things we have most worried about during this pandemic, that we are most worried about while we have to shelter at home, that we are most worried about while some people cannot work and bring in an income, is whether or not they can eat. And this church has always worried about our hungry neighbors. Our once a month body of Christ food giveaway has continued even through the pandemic and will continue through the month of May. And last Wednesday and this coming Wednesday as well, some of you have put groceries out on your front porch, non-perishable please, and the staff have come by to pick those up and then the staff have distributed them to some of our neighbors who might need help stretching. This Friday is going to be the North Texas Food Bank coming to do a mobile food pantry out at Lone Star Park, and you need to help us get that word out. But your church has been involved in that. Your church has pushed to bring the food bank and the city and the school district together so that this could help. And all of those things, the body of Christ, your donating groceries, coordinating with the North Texas Food Bank, all that is done out of the love of Jesus. Do you love me? Yes, Lord, we love you. Then feed my sheep. Yes, Lord, we will. Now, some of you may not be able to spare groceries, and that's okay. But there are other ways that we fulfill our membership vows in the church then you need to be feeding people with prayer. You need to be feeding people with your presence, especially online right now. It's so easy to invite someone to church. You need to be showing the love of Jesus that you have by doing something, by feeding the lambs and tending the sheep with our prayers, in our presence, even online, with our gifts, with service, with witness. Do you love me? <laughs> yes, we love you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.